Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on bakery products. In today's session, we are discussing about cake faults. This is Chef Pranav Bhatt, Assistant Professor, Chitkara School of Hospitality, Chitkara University, Punjab. Let's start. Cake faults. Generally, the reason of faults in cake may generally categorized or grouped into some reasons like wrong quality of raw material used, improper balancing of formula or some operational uh, mistakes. All can lead to one fault and these faults can be categorized into two categories. Generally, we do categorize these faults into an external cake fault or internal cake faults. So external cake faults are the one which can be seen from the outer, outer uh, observation of your cake and internal cake faults can be always seen by cutting down your cakes by a knife or a breaking it down. So let's discuss about the faults which are generally dear in cakes. Now as we discuss about the external cake faults, there are many cake faults which can happen in, due to some negligency or uh, you can say wrong formula of your cake. Like crust is too dark. That means that you have used too much of your sugar which is leading to a dark crust. Second, the temperature of your oven is too hot. So because of that, the color of your cake is been darkened. Along with this, sometimes a uh, high, uh, you can say, uh, quantity of your uh, liquid can also lead to this high uh, dark color, right? Two small cakes. Two small cakes are the one reason uh, when you are not using a proper formula into your cakes. That means the baking powder or whatsoever leavening agents you are using, it, it is not used properly in the formula. Secondly, it can also lead uh, due to the uh, thick mixture which is not allowing the leavening agent to uh, leave properly. Uh, spots on a cake. There are generally seen some white spots on your cake surfaces. It can be reason, uh, there can be some reason like batter standing too long for baking. That means you have kept your batter too much uh, for uh, without baking it <coughs> use a very coarse sugar you are using a very coarse sugar you are not using the refined sugar too little liquid is used in your uh, cake mixture and you are using a very uh, slow baking technique right uh, shrinkage of cake that means your cake has collapsed or sunken into a center that can lead be reason uh, too much of sugar if you are using too much of sugar into your cake that can also lead to your shrinkage of your cakes second too little liquid if you are using uh, too little of liquid that can also lead to your shrinkage of your cakes cakes brushed on top that means there are some cracks on your cakes so uh, the reason for this uh, cake cracks or brushed on top can be you are using a very hard uh, batter right and the liquid which is using is very uh, small in quantity that's why it's used to brush on the top or you are using a very high temperature uh, for baking your cake cake peaks on a top that means cake is with big top if too much of hard flour a strong flour if you are using that can be the one reason for this insufficient aeration you are not using a proper aeration method that can also lead to this and too much heat which has been provided on a top of your cake can lead to this peak season cakes crack on tops cake crack on tops that means you have overdone your batter that is the one reason that lead to a uh, cracks on your tops right cake is too thick that means uh, the cake is, the cake batter you are using is very uh, heavy 
and you are you have not used a proper liquid and your formula is not properly weight uh, due to this your uh, cake is very thick the crust of your cake is very pale that means there is not a good golden color on your cakes that can there can be some reason like too little sugar is been used uh, lack of milk or uh, liquiding agents uh, a very slow baking a wet oven atmosphere can also lead to this uh, fault let's discuss about the internal cake faults and their causes first one is uneven texture it can be lead to too much of baking powder insufficient liquid too much sugar used too little of mixing and oven is too cool for your baking that can be the reason for the uneven texture holes and tunnels holes and tunnels is a one of the major fault the toughening of your batter that means your batter is very tough lumps of unmixing fat like butter in your batter pocket of air in trap during scaling that can always lead to this fault coarse and irregular grains the coarse and irregular grains is one of the reason is too much uh, uh, too much little of sugar is used too little of your fat is used that can be the reason for your coarse and irregular grains poor flavor poor flavor is another cake fault or uh, when we are not using a good quality of ingredients it can lead to a poor flavor right shrinking of fruits right uh, shrinking of fruits into bottom of your uh, cake can be uh, when your batter is very thin uh, there is a lack of structure and fruit cake crumble when cut when your fruit cake is crumbled when you cut it down it can be the reason like weak or wrong type of flour is used unbalanced mixing use of unsoaked fruits and incorrect baking can always lead to a uh, crumbling of your fruit cake pale crumb or color that means your color of uh, your crumb is very pale that means the reason can be uh, too little sugar used lack of milk a very slow baking time uh, slow baking too much bottom heat type of sweetening is agent used sometimes in fruit cakes high sugar content of fruits can also lead to this pale crumb and too much of soda if you are using your cake is very dense that means it is very tense so over mixing of your batter can be one reason too little of your egg when you uh, you are preparing your batter uh, too much of sugar used and a slow baking can lead to this uh, dense product and cake poor keeping quality poor keeping quality is the initial stage when your product is ready and you have kept it for a uh, storing so you have to store it properly uh the ingredients which you have used should be of good quality that can always help you in increasing the shelf life shelf life of your uh, cake secondly if you are not using a proper method of storing or the temperature of storing is not proper that can be a reason of uh, poor keeping quality of your products quick staling sometimes molds grows on your cakes the reason can be excessive moisture and contaminations so these all can leads to these uh, cake faults and these are the various cake fault causes which are there now let's discuss about the principle involved in sponge cake preparation use good quality ingredients and measure accurately the beating bowl should be free from water and oil and grease separate the egg carefully use granulated sugar only see flour with dry ingredients 
like baking powder, soda, cocoa powder, beat the eggs in a fixed speed and in the same direction. Full genoise sponge, the fat or butter should be melted and cooled before uh, use. During folding, the finger should be wide and speed should be carried equally. It minimizes the possibilities of air to escape. All should be mixed carefully. Do not beat the batter after adding flour and oil. Use correct size of tray or mold. Sponge mold should be greased and dusted with flour or lined with a butter paper. Bake sponge immediately. Do not allow standing out too long before baking. The oven door should be closed during baking. And initially, you have to keep your product safe and well stored in a non-moisture area. Thank you very much. I hope you have learned a lot of about the cake and various we have discussed about various methods we have discussed characteristics we have discussed about the faults and this is the end of the session uh, thank you very much for listening and thank you